venturing back over to Russia to get another one of their great beers. It's the Baltica Number no. Four Dark Lager, um, 5.6% ABV. And right before I hit the button here, I realized this beer expired back in April. Um, these beers typically have a year shelf life. So you can see the date there. They brew it on, or they bottle it on a certain date and they give it one year. You know, it's a lager. I, it could keep a year. Um, it's in a dark brown bottle, which may give it a, you know, give it a go here to, to, to make it a year, maybe a year and a half. We'll find out here shortly. Um, however, they make good beers. Um, if you buy these beers, you definitely have to check the date. Um, they are relatively cheap. I think I got this for like two twenty nine dollars for the bottle. It is like 15 point, uh, let's check this, 15.89 fluid ounces. So, uh, not quite 16 ounces, but we're close. Um, I have had this before, and if I can recall, it was pretty good, so... Let's crack it open, quit talking, and start drinking, huh? Oh. You can see the smoke, which water vapor, just rolling out of that beer. So that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. Under the glass. very dark amber color Ugh. and again we get the skunky bubbles I explained that in uh, one of the other reviews I did this is usually a sign that the beer has gone skunky and is no longer fresh um, but you get that a lot in the European beers, so let's let's give it a fair shake. Let's look at it here. It is dark. It is very dark, kind of a red amber color. Um, one finger head. I didn't pay much attention to what the head was before I set it down because I was going on about the bubbles, but. Uh, the aroma smells pretty good. It is kind of malty, a malty aroma. You get, you know, when you when you get a red lager or a dark lager, um, you get that. I don't know. It's not really earthy, but it's malty. And there's a there's a, a note in there that takes it over from a regular lager aroma. So. Uh, it smells pretty darn good. Let's take a drink. Cheers. It's good. It's really good. I like this a lot. I'm getting like a creamy mouth feel. It's very enjoyable. Getting some malts. Getting a little bit of caramel. This is really good. Um, I wish I would have had this on draft right out of the tank there at the brewery in St. Petersburg, Russia. This is very easy to drink. My lighting here, I apologize. The lacing hangs around there for a little bit. I like that. The color is very attractive. I like it. Appearance, I'm going to give it a five for appearance. Uh, I'm not getting any skunky aroma. I'm going to give it a five for an aroma. The bubbles have gone away.
the flavor is really good. I really, really like this beer. Um, for $2.29 a bottle, you can't complain. Uh, it's 5.6% 5, 5 alcohol by volume. I'm not sure if I said that or not. I highly recommend this beer. I'm going to give this a four and a half. Um, I hope that you guys can get these beers in your area. Um, really look at your local liquor store. Um, the liquor store that I usually go to, which where I, where I got these, uh, it's one of the bigger um, local stores, or local stores, liquor stores. However, it is locally owned. Um, so it's not a total wine or anything, you know, um, a corporate liquor store. This is a, a big liquor store that has tons of different beer, tons of wine, uh, all kinds of alcohol you can think of, but they carry these and they've always carried them. I've been going to that liquor store probably 15 years. Maybe not quite that long, maybe maybe 13. But I always pick these up. And at the time, I only picked up their porter, which was really good. I quit getting them, because at the time, they were $1.99, I believe. I quit getting them, uh, simply because you were they were getting older and older and older, um, as far as the date range on the, on the bottle. And I, I just couldn't understand why people weren't buying these. They weren't getting a shot. Um, but definitely try these. Uh, this red, I'm sorry, this Baltica number no. four dark lager is fantastic. You get a creamy mouthfeel. You get a malty, um, smooth um, mouthfeel as well. And you get some caramel notes. Uh, it's really enjoyable. So if you can get this, definitely get it. I recommend it. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Uh, and that's saying a lot for a beer that is, oh, uh, geez, 15 months old. My brain dead there for a second. So anyway, check this beer out if you can get it. Highly recommend it. Let me know if you've had this and let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.